Hi, I'm Kylie Jackie, I'm a Bunjalung woman, and I have the privilege of leading initiative for protecting the Aboriginal cultural values of the marine estate, of the marine estate management 10 year strategy. The strategy is really important and initiative for to our people, because it's to uphold and strengthen and promote Aboriginal cultural values of sea country, which has been identified at real high risk from the threats and risk assessment. Some of the activities that'll come from Initiative 4, including getting more of our people on sea country to do work that helps the environment, but also to promote their local cultures and to engage Aboriginal people more meaningfully around planning and decision-making for the marine estate. Uh, introduced species, they're invasive. They take over all the um, native vegetation. Once the native vegetation is gone, then the native animals and birds and wildlife actually start disappearing as well. With harvesting our food and that from the oceans and the shorelines and stuff like that, we, we like to have a nice clean area. And also there's a lot of significant cultural areas along these shorelines. <laughs> Our mob of Ewan people, they love, the, they love the water. Part of the water is you know, their, their life down here. And so if we can create something around the water, um, you know, something that they love, it's not a hard job to come to work. But it's also a healthy lifestyle. They need these tickets, you know, to operate. And like I said, there's not not a lot of employment down here, but we could, you know, we could, we're looking at creating some employment around the tourism industry and working with marine parks and stuff like that. Yes, yes. How long have I been there for? They've been there a long time. They could be there like five thousand years. They could be a lot older than that. But there's a story behind that. It's about your identity and it's about law and it's about who you are as young men. And I never had these opportunities at all and most of the men here wouldn't have had these opportunities growing up. So we taught the boys some things that they probably didn't know before or might have known a little bit about but now know more about and have more understanding and that, that knowledge is there now and they can't get rid of it. We currently undertaking a re-veg here. It's one of the most polluted lakes within the state which is pretty sad considering it's an area that as a young child I remember going to crawling with my father and uncles and stuff like that. We're undertaking um, vessel training with local Aboriginal community with the idea of upskilling them so they can obtain a boat licence. Green to green when going upstream. So it's good to see, you know, the other side of the law. That's always been a goal of mine to work for the fisheries or national park, just so that I can also protect um, my sites and culture and that as well and hand that over onto my community and my family as well. We're taking the kids around, um, showing them the significant cultural values of the Aboriginal people that occupied this area for roughly over 60,000 years. They're pig faces. So if you're thirsty or you've been running and training. Aboriginal culture, it's a hands-on. We touch, we see, we taste, we smell and we hear. So we're using all those parts of our body, our listening, looking, smelling and being able to keep quiet and being able to retell a story that's been handed down. So um, it's really important because they get to feel those senses and learn about life in its actual natural place.